Well then, Jane, not the result you wanted on Saturday, but what positives can you take from that game? I, I thought we competed, and, and I said um, to somebody that, that asked me last week, you know, what do I want from my team? And it, it was to be competitive for 90 minutes, and I, and I felt we got that. And I think, you know, obviously, I think we were lucky to go 1 0 down in the manner that we did. And obviously, me and Liv have looked back at that, and, and we agree that she can do better. But, you know, I thought we picked ourselves up relatively well after that, and obviously, contained them until sort of the 65th minute and then game got away from us a little bit in in a, in a within a couple of minutes and yeah but for me we, we were still competitive and I think even right until the last minute you know it got to the 90th minute and then there's three goals in added time so I think that showed that we we had contained them enough but by that point the game was done anyway so yeah I was pleased with with how competitive we were and and how we sort of addressed the game. You were open um, because the commentary on the day mentioned that you'd said that fitness was going to be the difference and you'd acknowledged that Birmingham were a fitter team because they were fully professional. Do you think that was the main factor or do you think it was just a combination of many different things? I think it's one of the factors and I think that like going back to the three goals after the 90, 90th minute, I think that showed that we were tired at that point. Obviously we scored our goal but we then conceded two more so I think that just showed that we were a little bit off the pace compared to Birmingham and, and as I said that was to be expected and then they had moments of quality that we didn't quite have you know we had a couple of chances Des had a header Katie Morris has had a header Katie Morris had one just come off her toe and you know whereas Blues had their chances and they took them and that's the difference at this level so yeah there's there's a couple of combinations in there but obviously fitness is, is a really key one. But speaking of moments of quality United's goal from Georgia Stevens was a cracker. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I've watched it back and, you know, at the time I was sort of, she was on my side of the pitch and I, and I saw her open her hips out and I could see what she was going to try and I thought, OK, go on then. And it just it just went in and I'm really pleased for her because she's, you know, she came in, in sort of pre-Christmas. We couldn't get the deal done because of her contract in Iceland and she had a little bit of time to wait and she's had to be patient and earn her, earn her spot in the team. And, you know, she came on and almost said, pick me. So that's all she can do, and I'm really pleased for her on a personal level because I know I know how desperate she's been to, to get off the mark. And looking forward to the rest of the season now, you said after the game on Sunday that with the pressure off, if you like, there might be some experimentation, some changes from this. Is that what you plan to do for the next couple of games? Yeah, a little bit, I guess. You know, I'm not I'm not one to do too much tinkering, but I also want to look at certain things. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jeopardise the competition and and that competitiveness that I want to keep you know I, I want to win the last two games I don't go into any game not wanting to win and and that will remain so whoever's picked whatever formation we go with it will be it'll have a thought process behind it and there'll be a reason for it thanks Jay and the best of luck we'll speak to you again thank you